Caught daylight bullets. Two hit over half a million bucks in exotic cars. All of it on surveillance video obtained exclusively by 7 News from October in ultra quiet Bay Harbor Islands. Pushisti, the rising rapper known for his controversial lyrics and flashy lifestyle, has found himself in the midst of yet another shocking incident. This time, it's a prison fight that was caught on camera. In this video, I will delve into the circumstances leading up to the fight, the events that unfolded, and the aftermath for Pushisti. The fight. Pushisti's journey to the prison fight began with a series of unfortunate events and a trail of violence. It all started when the rapper, whose real name is Lontrell Danell Williams Jr., was charged with shooting and robbing two men outside a hotel on Bay Harbor Island. The charges against him included discharging a firearm during a violent crime and robbery under a commerce statute, among others. But what made this story even more shocking was the twist that led to Pushisti's arrest. Before the robbery and shootout took place, he had been flaunting his fortune on social media, showcasing his lavish lifestyle for all to see. It was a move that proved to be unwise, as it caught the attention of law enforcement and ultimately led to his incarceration. This was not the first time Pushisti found himself in trouble with the law. In 2020, he was arrested for shooting a security guard in the leg. Despite this incident, he was released on bail. However, his run-ins with the law did not end there. In June of 2021, Pushisti was arrested once again, this time in connection with a shooting at a strip club in Northwest Miami-Dade. The incident occurred inside the King of Diamonds strip club, where a fight broke out between Pushisti and security officials. It was alleged that the altercation occurred because money dropped out of Pushisti's pocket, leading to a heated confrontation. As chaos ensued, Pushisti pulled out his gun and fired a shot into the ground. Unfortunately, the bullet struck a security guard's ankle, causing injury and requiring medical attention. Pushisti managed to flee the scene before authorities arrived, but he was now facing an aggravated battery charge. These events painted a picture of a rapper entangled in a web of violence and criminal activity. Whether it was a result of being associated with the wrong crowd or a manifestation of a, a violent streak, Pushisti had become a danger to society. It was no wonder that Judge Venzer, considering the seriousness of the charges and his previous criminal record, made the decision to deny him bail, stating, there's no way I'm giving this kid a bond. However, the circumstances leading up to the prison fight were a culmination of Pushisti's troubled past and his involvement in multiple criminal incidents. But what do we know about his recent fight behind the wire? The prison fight involving Pushisti was a dramatic and intense event that unfolded within the confines of the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center in Florida. As tensions ran high, tempers flared, leading to a clash that would be captured on camera. Details surrounding the prison fight are still emerging, but what we know so far is that it was a chaotic scene. In the midst of the commotion, fists flew and inmates clashed in a display of raw aggression. The fight was a stark reminder of the volatile environment that exists behind bars. While the exact cause of the fight remains unclear, rumors and speculations have been circulating. Some suggest that it was a result of a dispute over territory or resources, while others claim it was a personal vendetta between inmates. Regardless of the trigger, the consequences were severe. Prison fights are not uncommon, but the involvement of a high-profile rapper like Pushisti added an extra layer of intrigue to the situation. As news of the fight spread, it sparked a frenzy of discussions and debates among fans and critics alike. Many questioned how a talented artist like Pushisti had found himself in such a predicament. In the aftermath of the prison fight, the consequences for Pushisti were significant. Not only did he face potential disciplinary action within the prison system, but the incident also had the potential to impact his legal proceedings and future prospects. Furthermore, this gripping tale serves as a reminder of the consequences that can arise from a life of violence and criminal activity. Pushisti's choices have not only landed him behind bars, but have also impacted his reputation and future prospects in the music industry. Again, what do we really know about Pushist? What about his background? At least then, we can connect the dots and patch up the development around his prison fight or his arrest to begin with. The background of Pushisti. Pushisti, whose real name is Lontrell Williams Jr., was born and raised in the vibrant city of Memphis, Tennessee. Growing up in the heart of the music-rich South, he was exposed to the sounds of hip-hop and rap from an early age. It was in these streets that his passion for music began to take shape. From a young age, Pushisti was drawn to the raw and gritty storytelling that characterized the rap genre. Inspired by the likes of Gucci Mane, Yo Gotti, and 3-6 Mafia, he started honing his skills as a rapper, determined to make a name for himself in the industry. But life 
in Memphis wasn't always easy for Pushisti. He grew up in a neighborhood plagued by violence and crime, where survival was a daily struggle. It was these experiences that would later shape his music and give it an authentic edge. In his teenage years, Pushisti began to gain recognition in the local rap scene. He started performing at small venues and open mic nights, captivating audiences with his raw talent and captivating stage presence. His lyrics reflected the harsh realities of his surroundings, painting vivid pictures of street life and the struggles he faced. As his reputation grew, Poo Shisti caught the attention of established artists in the industry. One of the key figures who recognized his potential was Gucci Mane, a legendary rapper and entrepreneur. Gucci Mane saw something special in Poo Shisti and took him under his wing, becoming a mentor and guiding him on his musical journey. Under Gucci Mane's guidance, Poo Shisti began to refine his sound and develop his unique style. He embraced the trap music movement that was dominating the rap scene, infusing it with his own Memphis flavor. His lyrics were raw, honest, and unapologetic, resonating with listeners who could relate to his experiences. In 2020, Pushisti gained significant attention with the release of his breakout single, Twerksome. The song showcased his ability to create catchy hooks and deliver hard-hitting verses, further solidifying his place in the rap game. It was a taste of what was to come for this rising star. Meanwhile, as Pushisti continued to make waves in the rap industry, his meteoric rise served as an inspiration to aspiring artists everywhere. From his humble beginnings in Memphis to his current status as a rising star, he has proven that authenticity and raw talent can pave the way to success. Again, there's no doubt that Pushisti's undeniable talent and authentic style have not gone unnoticed by industry heavyweights. His rise to fame has been marked by collaborations with some of the biggest names in the rap industry, solidifying his position as a rising star. One of the key figures who recognized Pushisti's potential early on was Gucci Mane. As his mentor and collaborator, Gucci Mane played a pivotal role in shaping Pushisti's career. Their partnership resulted in several successful tracks, showcasing their chemistry and mutual respect. But it wasn't just Gucci Mane who saw the potential in Pooh Shisti. Lil Durk, another influential figure in the rap game, also recognized his talent and decided to collaborate with him. The result was the explosive track Back in Blood, which took the industry by storm. The song's success not only solidified Pooh Shisti's place in the rap scene, but also showcased his ability to hold his own alongside established artists. The collaboration with Lil Durk opened doors for Pooh Shisti, leading to even more high-profile partnerships. He caught the attention of Lil Baby, one of the hottest names in hip-hop who featured on the track Monday to Sunday from Gucci Mane's album Ice Daddy. This collaboration further cemented Pushisti's status as an artist to watch. The industry recognition didn't stop there. Pushisti's talent and unique sound caught the attention of other rap heavyweights, including Future, who expressed interest in working with him. The respect and co-signs from these established artists speak volumes about Pushisti's potential and the impact he is making in the industry. Beyond collaborations, Pushisti has also been recognized by critics and industry insiders for his contributions to the rap game. His debut album, Shiesty Season, received widespread acclaim with critics praising his lyrical prowess and ability to capture the essence of street life. The album's success further solidified his position as a rising star in the rap industry. Pushisti's impact extends beyond the music itself. He has become a cultural icon with his unique style and persona influencing a new generation of artists. His authenticity and raw talent have resonated with fans who appreciate his unapologetic approach to storytelling. In the era of social media, Pooh Shisti has leveraged his growing fan base to propel his career further. His strong core following has allowed him to generate consistent buzz and exposure for his music. The support of his fans has been instrumental in his rise to fame as they continue to champion his music and push him further up the ranks. As Pooh Shisti's career continues to ascend, the future looks incredibly promising. With his talent, authenticity, and industry recognition, he is poised to become one of the leading voices in the rap industry. His controlled career trajectory and dedication to building a solid fan base have set him apart from his peers, proving that sustained success is built on a foundation of authenticity and organic growth. But in a twist of events, a once blossoming career that took Pooh endless days to build lyrics by lyrics was now being clouded by unfortunate events. Unfortunately, it was misery that he welcomed himself. Well, sometimes we welcome trouble that later compounds to weights we cannot shoulder, and that couldn't be further from the truth in Pooh's case. For that reason, I'll rope you in on how his prison arrest developed. On a fateful night at the renowned King of Diamonds Club in Miami, Florida, Lontrell Williams, widely known as Pooh Shiesty, found himself at the center of a shocking incident that would change the course of his life. According to reports, Williams was enjoying his time at the club when an unexpected turn of events unfolded. It is said that money was falling out of Williams' pocket, catching the attention of those around him. In a split second, chaos erupted as he reached for his gun to secure his belongings. However, in a twist of fate, the weapon accidentally discharged, causing panic and confusion among the club goers. The details surrounding
surrounding the incident remain disputed. Some claim that Williams intentionally fired at a security officer, while others argue that it was an unintended discharge. Amidst the chaos, one thing became clear. A security guard or an employee of the club was struck in the ankle by a bullet, causing injury. The incident took place in front of a crowd of witnesses, and video footage captured the shocking moment when Williams held the gun in his hand. The aftermath of this event would lead to a series of legal proceedings and a deep dive into Williams' background. Following the incident at the King of Diamonds, Pooh Shisti found himself in a courtroom facing the consequences of his actions. In a recent court hearing presided over by Judge Mindy Glazer, the prosecution and defense presented their arguments, shedding light on the events that transpired that night. As the judge read, the arrest warrant, it became apparent that Williams was already out on bond for another case that occurred in October. This fact added an additional layer of complexity to the proceedings. Williams, wearing a green Velcro suit typically reserved for individuals with mental health issues or those on suicide watch, listened intently as the arguments unfolded. The defense, represented by Williams' lawyers, raised the issue of probable cause. They argued that there was no intent shown in the incident, emphasizing that the document and witness statements indicated Williams was merely reaching for money in his pockets when the weapon was accidentally discharged. They contended that the injury sustained by the security guard was a result of a ricochet or an unintended consequence rather than an intentional act of harm. Furthermore, the defense highlighted the absence of any witness testimony or evidence suggesting Williams had the intent to injure anyone. They emphasized that intent can be inferred through actions, not just words, and in this case, there was no indication of any intent other than an accidental discharge. However, the prosecution vehemently disagreed with the defense's version of events. They argued that the arrest warrant clearly stated that Williams grew angry when the security guard told him to put away his gun. Allegedly, Williams pointed the gun directly at the guard and fired, narrowly missing him as he jumped out of harm's way. The prosecution further emphasized that this incident occurred in front of numerous witnesses, with video evidence capturing Williams holding the gun. The prosecution also brought up Williams' prior pending case, where he was also involved with a gun, and two individuals were shot. This information was presented to demonstrate a pattern of behavior and potential danger to the public. The judge carefully considered both sides' arguments, taking into account the risk of flight and danger to the public. Ultimately, she set a bond of $10,000, with a no-contact order between Williams and the alleged victim. Additionally, Williams was ordered to stay away from the King of Diamonds establishment. With the court hearing concluded, the case took a new turn as Williams was held without bond on the October case due to the violation of his release conditions. Furthermore, during the court proceedings, with the advice of his defense, he pleaded guilty to reduce his jail time, which was later reduced to 60 months. Overall, the incident surrounding Pushisti serve as a stark reminder of the severe ramifications of one's actions. On the other hand, while being a beacon of hope for the rising raps from his neighborhood, Pooh's arrest and the recent fight in prison have all raised enormous reactions and fallouts. Some oppose Pooh's actions, while others divinely stand with him, bringing a big divide. Reaction and Fallout in early 2019, Pooh Shisti took on his stage name and released his debut single, Hail Night, featuring Big 30. Despite being a newcomer to the scene, the track caught the attention of music enthusiasts and industry insiders alike. It was a taste of what was to come, a raw and unapologetic style that resonated with listeners. Encouraged by the positive response, Pooh Shisti continued to pour his heart and soul into his craft. The following year proved to be a turning point in his career. Pooh Shisti unleashed a series of street hits that solidified his presence in the rap game. Tracks like Shy Summer and ABCGE showcased his lyrical prowess and captivated audiences with their infectious beats. The streets were buzzing with anticipation, and it wasn't long before the industry heavyweights took notice. One such heavyweight was none other than Gucci Mane, a legendary figure in hip-hop. Recognizing Pooh Shisti's potential, Gucci signed him to his record label, 107 Records, in collaboration with Atlantic Records. It was a game-changing moment for the young artist, as he now had the support and guidance of a seasoned industry veteran. With Gucci Mane in his corner, Pooh Shiesti's career skyrocketed to new heights. He became a prominent figure in the hip-hop industry, collaborating with established artists and making waves with his unique style. But it was his collaboration with Lil Durk on the track Back in Blood that genuinely propelled him into the mainstream. The song became an instant hit, dominating the airwaves and solidifying Pooh Shiesti's status as a rising star. The success of Back in Blood was just the beginning. Pooh Shiesti's star continued to rise as he graced the stages of major music festivals and embarked on nationwide tours. His 
His live performances were electrifying, captivating audiences with his raw energy and undeniable talent. It seemed like there was no stopping him. He was on the fast track to becoming an unstoppable force in the industry. But amidst the glitz and glamour, Pooh, Shisti's constant brushes with the law began to cast a shadow over his burgeoning career. The streets that once shaped him now threatened to consume him. Little did he know that his actions would soon catch up with him, leading to a fall from grace that would shock the world. As Pooh Shisti's star continued to rise, his constant brushes with the law began to cast a dark cloud over his promising career. It seemed that trouble followed him wherever he went, and it was only a matter of time before the consequences caught up with him. On October 13th, 2020, a fateful day in Bay Harbor Islands, Florida, Pooh Shisti found himself entangled in a violent incident that would change the course of his life. He had arranged to meet an exclusive reseller to purchase high-end shoes, a common practice in the world of fashion and hip-hop. However, what was meant to be a simple transaction quickly spiraled into chaos. As Pooh Shisti stepped out of his car to meet the reseller, a sudden eruption of gunfire shattered the air. Panic ensued as people scattered, and two men were left injured. In the midst of the chaos, Pooh Shisti and his crew fled the scene, leaving behind a bag containing a staggering $440,000. It was a scene straight out of a Hollywood movie, but the consequences were all too real. Law enforcement agencies swiftly launched an investigation to uncover the truth behind the shooting. The rented car used by Pooh Shisti and his crew became a crucial piece of evidence, leading investigators to trace the serial numbers on the money found in the abandoned bag. To their astonishment, the serial numbers matched those flaunted by Pooh Shisti on his social media platforms. The evidence was mounting, pointing directly at the rising hip-hop star. When confronted by the police, Pooh Shisti claimed self-defense, stating that the men had attempted to steal the money he had brought for the shoe purchase. However, his explanation did not hold up under scrutiny. He was charged with armed robbery, aggravated battery with a weapon, aggravated assault with a firearm, and petty theft. The once promising artist found himself facing severe legal consequences that threatened to derail his career. Despite the charges, Pooh Shisti was released from custody on the same day. It seemed like he had once again managed to escape the clutches of the law. However, his troubles were far from over. Less than a year later, Pooh Shisti found himself in yet another precarious situation. While performing at a nightclub in Northwest Miami, he made the ill-advised decision to wave a gun as part of his act. Security guards intervened, instructing him to put the weapon away. Instead of complying, Pooh Shisti escalated the situation, waving the gun in their faces. The tension reached its breaking point, and a shot was fired, allegedly by Pooh Shisti, injuring one of the guards. Conflicting stories emerged regarding the incident. Some claimed that Pooh Shisti had been robbed on stage, with someone taking money right out of his pocket. However, Pooh Shisti denied these claims on his Instagram story. Regardless of the circumstances, he found himself arrested once again and held in jail. When he appeared before the judge, the severity of his actions became evident. Given his escalating violence and the potential danger he posed, the judge decided to hold Pooh Shisti without bond for the case pending trial. It was a significant blow to his hopes of freedom and a clear indication that the consequences of his actions were catching up with him. The impact of Pooh Shisti's arrest on his reputation and career cannot be understated. Once hailed as a rising star in the hip-hop industry, he now faced the harsh reality of the legal system. The music industry is unforgiving, and his criminal record would undoubtedly tarnish his image. The once promising artist found himself at a crossroads, with his future hanging in the balance. But yet again, in the grand tapestry of existence, every human action is a brushstroke, painting the canvas of our collective fate. Yet, behind every stroke lies a profound consequence, rippling through time and space, shaping the intricate web of our reality. It is within these consequences that the true essence of our existence unfolds, revealing the profound interconnectedness between our choices and the world around us. Yet, amidst the chaos, there lies a glimmer of hope. For in acknowledging the consequences of our actions, we unlock the potential for transformation. We possess the capacity to choose paths of harmony over discord, of creation over destruction. Each decision becomes a crossroads, where the future hangs in the balance, waiting to be shaped by our intentions. In other words, Pusciesti's actions, for instance, the prison fight, were in no position to slip through the hands of authorities or be looked the other way, as that would have been deemed mockery. Naturally, he had to face a fair share of consequences alone. Consequences in the dark and unforgiving walls of the United States Penitentiary Pollock, USP Pollock, a violent altercation erupted between rapper Pooh Shisti and another inmate. The tension between the two had been brewing for weeks, fueled by rivalries and personal conflicts within the prison walls. On one occasion, the situation reached its boiling point, resulting in a brutal prison fight that sent shockwaves through the facility. The fight was intense, with fists flying and tempers flaring. Both Pooh Shisti and the other inmate unleashed their pent-up frustrations, exchanging blow after blow in a desperate 
bid to assert dominance. The commotion attracted the attention of both inmates and prison staff, who quickly intervened to break up the fight and restore order. The immediate consequences of the prison fight were severe for Pu Shisti. As per the prison's protocol, both inmates were immediately placed in segregation, a form of solitary confinement for their safety and to prevent any further altercations. This meant being confined to a small cell for the majority of the day, with limited human interaction and minimal access to recreational activities. Moreover, Pu Shisti and the other inmates faced a loss of privileges as a result of their actions. They were stripped of their right to participate in recreational activities, such as yard time, where inmates are allowed to spend time outside their cells for exercise and fresh air. This loss of freedom further compounded the isolation and confinement they experienced in segregation. The prison authorities took a stern stance on the incident, considering the high-profile nature of Pu Shiesti's case. The fight violated the rules and regulations of the prison, which could potentially lead to additional charges being filed against him. If found guilty, Pu Shiesti could face an extension of his already lengthy sentence, prolonging his time behind bars. The repercussions of the prison fight were immediate and far-reaching for Pu Shiesti. The isolation, loss of privileges, and the looming threat of an extended sentence weighed heavily on him as he navigated the harsh realities of prison life. As the days turned into weeks, the consequences of his actions became increasingly apparent, leaving him to contemplate the choices that led to this moment. While Pu Shisti grappled with the immediate consequences of the prison fight, concerns about his treatment in prison began to surface. Rapper Gucci Mane, a close associate of Pu Shisti, recently took to social media to express his worries about the alleged conditions Pu Shisti was facing behind bars. Gucci Mane shed light on the daily living conditions, revealing that Pu Shisti was receiving food trays with no actual meals and was only allowed one hour out of his cell each day. Furthermore, expressing his dissatisfaction with the conditions that Pu Shiesti was held under in prison, Gucci Mane went on his social media and wrote, We do not pay attention to how inmates are treated. Pu has been sent to a prison over 1,500 miles from his home, 23-hour lockdown, and given empty food trays. Additionally, Gucci Mane went ahead and tagged Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in his post that read, USP Pollock should be investigated immediately. Hash move Pu hash prison reform at POTUS at VP at Kamala Harris. Besides Gucci Mane's reactions to what Pu Shisti is undergoing in prison, Pu Shisti himself recently wrote on Instagram while under bars, the police don't stop watching just cause you in jail and you can go to jail inside of jail. He also added, just let that sink in y'all small unconscious head. They gon' wait till I'm dead to start listening to what I be saying. As you'd have expected, these revelations sparked outrage among fans and supporters who questioned the fairness and humanity of the prison system. The mistreatment allegations raised by Gucci Mane added another layer of complexity to Pooh Shisti's already challenging situation. As the news spread, public scrutiny intensified, and demands for an investigation into the conditions at USP Pollock grew louder. The potential impact of these concerns on Pooh Shisti's life and career cannot be underestimated. As a rising star in the rap industry, his image and reputation are crucial to his success. The negative publicity surrounding the prison fight and the alleged mistreatment could tarnish his public image and affect his relationships within the music industry. Furthermore, the potential extension of Pushisti's sentence, if additional charges are filed against him, could significantly impact his future prospects. The longer he remains behind bars, the more challenging it becomes to maintain relevance in an industry that thrives on constant output and engagement with fans. The limitations imposed by prison life, coupled with the negative publicity could hinder his ability to release new music, perform live, and connect with his fan base. The concerns raised by Gucci Mane and the public outcry for an investigation into Pu Shisti's treatment in prison have put a spotlight on the broader issue of prison reform. The case has ignited discussions about the need for fair and humane treatment of inmates, regardless of their status or celebrity. It has shed light on the flaws within the prison system and the urgent need for change. As the investigation unfolds and legal proceedings continue, the impact on Pu Shisti's life and career remains uncertain. The outcome of these events will shape his future trajectory and determine whether he can overcome the challenges posed by the prison fight and the alleged mistreatment. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out our other awesome videos on the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.